to film a summer glowy makeup tutorial. So the first step is obviously skincare. I am not, I think I already went over my skincare routine in previous videos, like the Korean, the Korean glass skin. I definitely went over a lot of my favorite skincare products that I use to achieve like really glowy skin, but uh, I already went in with like I went in on face oils as I usually do. Okay, next I'm going to um, apply some concealer. So I'll be using the Albit Makeup um, Concealer Duo in Medium Dark. Which I am going to be mixing in the two uh, shades. So I'm going to be applying this right underneath my eye bags. So already this is like super bright. Next, I'm going to go on the highest points of my nose. So, like, I've been really into highlighting just where my nose sinks in. I love that look for some reason. I'm just blending it out, diffusing the edges. So now that my under eyes are very bright, um, I'm going to go in with my base products. So, as always, these are this is my favorite foundation ever when I want to wear foundation. It's the Makeup Forever Ultra HD. I have Y415, and I also have Y245, which I mix together. Um, sometimes I will use a darker one as, like, a cream bronzer. Before I start with that, I am going to apply some more face oil. This one is a brightening face oil from Corez. But I'm just going to apply some just on the highest points of my cheeks. So that way, like whatever I apply on top, it's just going to look extra, extra glowy. But yeah, face oils are the best. I'm just going to take one pump of the lighter shade of foundation. Actually, a pump is like an exaggeration. Like half a pump. And then I'm going to mix it in with half a pump of the other foundation, the darker one. And I like working with a large surface area, so um, that way my beauty blender will get so caked up. I'm going to start with my cheeks and then whatever like ha leftover I have I will work it inwards. So because I already have quite a bit of product under my eyes I don't want to build on top of that but this is a technique that I love using and I usually don't apply foundation on my forehead um, just because for the most part my forehead is pretty smooth and even in terms of um, tone. I'll use whatever leftover there is all over. I do another pump or so of the darker foundation and then literally just go into the hollows of my face. Like here usually I love when this part of my cheek is like super bronzy. Whenever I'm watching makeup tutorials I often will like fast forward to um, the bronzer because I'm obsessed with that transformation and by this time I don't have too much product on, on my hand anymore so I'll take the pointier side of my beauty blender dip it into whatever's left usually there's not a lot and I'm going to kind of contour but not really for this look I definitely don't want to put so much powder just because it is more dewy for my t-zone because I hate an oily t-zone I will have to go over with a powder. The Albit Makeup Loose Setting Powder is the best. I love it. It has like flexes of like shimmer in it, but like natural, you know? So I'm gonna set here. I hate when this part of my face is oily just because like that's not cute, you know? And then I'll get my eyebrows and under my eye. So you, you literally don't want to get this part of your cheek. Just stay within this area. So yesterday I was watching um, this YouTuber and she put highlight right here. So that I am very excited to try because I've never even like thought of putting highlighter there. Um, so next I'm going to do my eyebrows. Just this brow duo from B The Body Shop is the best thing ever. Highly recommend. So I'm going to take my angle brush and kind of outline the natural shape of my brow. Also don't mind my nails. Like I know. Your girl needs to get her nails done. Don't have the time right now. I love the powdery look. Um, it's so natural. This is my good brow. This one I can manipulate the shape a lot more. So for my eyes I'm going to use a Modern Renaissance eye palette. So what I'm going to do is take Real Girl, put that all over my eyes, and take my blending brush and just 
blend the edges. And we take a little bit more, but also keeping my inner corner bare. For my eye shape, I kind of have like a lot of um, lid space to work with. So <laughs> a tip is just, you know, measure where the actual brow bone starts, which is like not high. It's actually pretty low. So that'll be my crease. I'm oh, sorry, I'm just applying that orange color on my lower lash line. Um, but now I'm going in with Primavera, FYI. So I just literally packed it in the center and then I took my blender without any product on it and I just blended out the edges so it kind of is diffused. And then I'm going to take Primavera and put that in the inner corner of my eyes. Yeah, so moving on to the face, I'm kind of all over the place here. I'm going to go in with Halo Scope from uh, Glossier. And then I'm going to go in, like in that part where it sinks in. And then the excess I will just put on the actual bridge itself. And just a tiny bit right there. And now for highlight, like a powder highlight, I'm going to go in with my Wet n Wild Illuminating Palette. I'm going to take my huge, dense brush, just go like this, and then just kind of get it everywhere. I take the, the white shade, kind of just apply that right here, because this is where the sun would usually hit you, right? And this is the the tip that I just learned from that YouTuber. And then I'm going to take the bronzy shade and apply it right here. For my cheeks, I'm going to take the Milani Coral Addict that on my hand. And I'm going to take my beauty blender, go over it, and apply it right here. And diffuse it out. Ooh, the Lush um, color stain thing, I think. And then I'm going to take my Glossier Lip Gloss, which is literally melting because this room is so hot. That's the makeup look. So this is the look completed. My camera totally died on me, um, but I wanted to wrap up the video. So this, the camera quality is going to change a little bit. Hey, this lighting is doing everything for me. You can really see like the highlights and everything. I look very glowy. Um, hopefully you guys found this video very helpful because I am all about perfecting the glow. Oh, yes. These sunglasses are so freaking cool. Hopefully the next video that I put up is going to be Boyfriend Does My Makeup. I will force Aaron to do it against his will. Yes. Alright, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you later. Bye.